all these swatches. All these swatches. I just love it when it has new stuff. I need to get this nail fixed though, because this is not cute. Like, I cannot deal with broken nails. Like it, I have an issue. This, these are all my nails, actually. But of course, one just, one just had to be the resilient one. Just had to want to break. What up, YouTube? Like anyway. London here, and I am sitting here sweating my natural behind off because it's hot as ish up in this camp. So with that being said, y'all just gonna have to deal with the air in the back. I can't, I can't. I had my stuff was on point. It was on fleek, as they say. Um, as you can see, I'm looking a little glossy, a little dewy. Hold on, let me see. Okay, so now that I've gone ahead and kind of corrected my face. I feel like I can actually get to the video now. Y'all know I love some wet and wild lipsticks. First of all, they're like $1.99 at most for the most part, plus tax depending on where you're shopping. Now, when they say matte, they're not actually really matte. They're more along the lines of like a creamy matte, which is cool because you know, some people don't want like that whole dried out effect or whatever. But needless to say, I picked up uh, six of these new colors that are limited edition by Wet n Wild. I don't know if y'all already seen them, but y'all about to see them again right here on this channel, okay? Anyways. So the first color that I have here is called Nightcap, which is this one right here. Let me go ahead and show you what it looks like in the two. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it for you as well. And that is what Nightcap this is very looks similar like. to something that's out right now. Um, when I figure out what it is, I will let you guys know. All right, the next color that we have is called a Photo Bomb, and this is what Photo Bomb looks like. Okay, I like this color. The next color I have here is actually called Coffee Buzz. This is almost like a purple color. Like a really deep, dark chocolate, like purple. It sort of reminds me of Damp It Up by Wet n Wild, but this is a little bit more intense and a little bit more. And dark. this is what Coffee Buzz looks like in the tube. And this is what Coffee Buzz looks like on the lips. The next color that I have here is called Vintage Vibe. I'm feeling this one. It sort of reminds me a little bit of Rebel um, by MAC. So yeah, might be, uh-oh, might be a dupe. But let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and swatch this one really quickly. That is what Vintage Vibe looks like swatched. And this is what Vintage Vibe looks like on the lips. Now guys, also I wanna go ahead and say that I, I am lightly, I mean very, very lightly, lining my lips with um, Night Moth Lip Liner. Reason being is just because that's how I'm gonna wear it. Um, and you can, I mean, it's not really a big difference. It's not that it's blending in or anything, but I just don't like wearing lipsticks without lip liner. So, I mean, if you wanna go and do it in the tube like that, that's cool. But yeah, I'm not really mixing the colors, but I guess it's slightly mixed because I have a lip liner, but whatever. Anyways, this is what Vintage Vibe looks like on the lips. And here is what Vintage 5 looks like in the tube. And this is what the ab looks on this is what on the ab looks like on the lips. Alright guys, so the last color in this lipstick collection, as far as I guess from what I can see, is um, this is called Celeb Sighting. This is a really interesting color actually. Um, it's kind of orange, like a really bright red, like a really orange red. Um, normally this is not my, my steez because I don't really do oranges and I don't do a lot of reds, but this is what Celeb Sighting looks like right here. And this time, I didn't even put any lip liner on, but now I'm going to just so I can see how it actually looks. So I kind of like the color. So yeah, let's see. Of course, I would need to blend this in a lot more and blend in that Night Moth a little bit more. But yeah, for the most part, this is pretty much what we're going to get. All right. So this is Celeb Sighting, and I can say, I'll admit, I do actually like this color. Um, even though it's completely different for me. So yeah, I'm a bit surprised, but I do like this color a lot. So here you have it folks, Celeb Siding, Celeb Siding Swatched, and Celeb Siding on the Lips.
Alright, so that's that for the lipsticks. Now, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you two palettes that they had. Um, these are both limited edition as well. One's like a purple one and one's a green one. I'm going to go ahead and swatch them for you really quickly. Actually starting to get a little pressed for time because I have to be at work in a little while. Alright, so here are the two palettes that I purchased from Wet n Wild that are also part of the limited edition collection. You know, it seems like it's something that's already been out by Wet n Wild, which is sometimes why I don't like to buy their eyeshadow palettes unless it's something like really pronounced just because I feel like some of the colors are duplicates of things that they've already had in previous palettes which I mean I guess if you didn't purchase them it really wouldn't be an issue for you but if you're a person who likes to regularly like get their limited edition items or you like to actually purchase um, wet and wild products that's something that you kind of are like mm, I don't know but as you can see it's a little hard to tell with my camera and lighting and stuff what the actual colors look like but yeah I don't know we'll just watch it and see all right and these are pretty much what the colors look like truthfully I got this palette because I liked the crease color and the definer color all in all I mean I guess the palette's okay would I recommend you guys go out and purchase it probably not even though it was like $2.99 but if you're into purples and you need something that's like this, um, I would go ahead and say check it out. And the last thing that I have from the new collection of Wet n Wilds is this color right here. Now, I like green. Green's one of my favorite colors. Green, teal, all the you know, all that stuff. That's all neat right there. But um, I wanted to get this one, and even though this one also looks similar to some other Wet n Wild colors that I have. I just like the color of this palette. So this is actually called Girls Just Want to Have Funs. Like money, fun. Which is why it's a green palette. Very, very cute. What well, y'all are real cute. I see y'all. I see y'all. But anyways, let me go ahead and swatch these for you guys really quickly. Alright, so hands down, this palette right here is a winner. Like, no questions asked, nothing. These are all really buttery smooth colors. The color payoff is amazing. Yeah, guys that pretty much wraps it up thank you guys so much for watching i really enjoyed making this video even though it is like hotter than a well diggers rump in here yes hotter than a well diggers rump ask my grandma about that one. yeah thank you guys <laughs> thank you guys so much um for watching this video if you like it please thumbs up if you don't you ain't got to do anything you could just like backspace or back out here um hopefully if you didn't like this video you didn't watch it all the way through that's just been Till the next yeah. time, I will talk to all of you lovely people later. Bye.